Where did I put the tape? It's right here. Hi guys, how's it going? Blue here, welcome to Cube Rhythms. In this video, we are going to be unboxing uh, the Cubing Classroom Gold Splash 2x2 two two through 5x5 five five set, the Maylong 2x2, two two, and the Maylong 6x6. Six six. Let's get into it. We'll start with the Cubing Classroom stuff. So this Gold Splash Cubing Classroom set is $25. Obviously, it comes with a 2x2, two 3, 4, and 5x5. Five five. And it's kind of like the carbon fiber cubes. Uh, this is a lot of plastic packaging. I do not like plastic packaging. It makes me sad every time. It was unnecessary, but the box did look really nice. Boop, boop, boop. And got this Moyu pamphlet, which is a bunch of Asian writing and this big hunk of plastic. Okay, and then also, is it just me? Yeah, it was just me. I thought for a second that these each individual one was in plastic wrap and I was about to be very sad but that's not the case. We'll start with the three by three. So basically what makes this special is it's like the carbon fiber cubes where it's a stickerless cube with a bunch of black stickers over it. Only instead of awesome carbon fiber, it has these kind of gold splash splotches all over it. And these gold splotches are actually shiny. So that's cool. It's not just like a yellow sticker there. It actually has kind of a metallic look. Let's do some turns. And honestly, that turns good enough. Not outstanding, it's not amazing. It can't corner cut 45 degrees. And honestly, that took quite a bit of force. But for what it is, it turns smooth enough. I definitely like the blue color. It's not super bright. It actually looks a little bit darker. And we'll just do a checker pattern. Whoopsie. Everything looks kind of desaturated. Uh, but it's definitely distinguishable and I just like that blue. That's pretty cool. I like it a lot actually. Two by two. Okay, that actually turns a little bit better than the three by three. Corner cuts, nope, not quite 45. Almost 45. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good feeling two by two. Four by four. Yeah, that feels a little bit sluggish. Again, totally good enough for what it is, but you know, not the greatest speed cube ever. And five by five. And as expected, the five by five is turning nice and quick. Uh, the outer layers feel really fast and the inner layers feel just a little bit slower. Not super stable feeling, but whatevs. And it has all the same shades as the rest of the cubes. So basically this set is not really meant to be like a speed cube solving set it's just kind of a set of cool looking interesting collector cubes if you are a collector of puzzles definitely a cool addition to any collection obviously you wouldn't use these in a competition as speed cubes and if you don't already have a regular version of any of these puzzles i wouldn't recommend getting this but if you already have these and you want more and you want kind of an interesting variation that's going to get people to say whoa these are kind of neat this is, these are definitely a good thing to have. I like the way they look. I think that the randomness of where the gold splotches are kind of bother me because it's not organized, but it definitely does look cool. I can appreciate the way that it just looks like you took paint and just went. Pfft. Oh, did I say paint? I meant real gold. I didn't mention that. Yeah, these stickers are totally definitely real gold. I don't know why they're selling it for so cheap, but definitely pick it up while you still can and then sell it for millions. Let's get onto the Maylongs. The reason I sound disappointed is that I was deceiving you. These are not made of gold. That was a lie. We'll just open these both up at the same time. Two by two, really cool. And the six by six, nice. Here are my predictions. The two by two is gonna be really good. The six by six is gonna be pretty bad. Let's see if I'm right. Two by two, this feels very light. Let's see how it turns. It feels like it needs to be broken in, but I can also feel that it is already breaking in as I'm doing these first turns. Yeah, this is this has already gotten a lot better. Corner cutting. 
not quite 45. That's a bummer. If it could corner cut 45, this would be really, really good. This is just really kind of good. But I think with some breaking in and maybe some setup, this could definitely cut 45 and be a really good two by two. It feels pretty cheap, pretty budget, nothing too special going on. Let's see the six by six. All right, six by six. Are you going to let me down? What? Okay, I see how it is. Yes, the six by six is gonna let me down. At first I thought maybe it wouldn't. Just turning normal, it feels all right. But once you start moving along different axes, you can see where the flaws of the puzzle are just jutting out. Just jutting out. Um, corner cutting, it has no reverse and when I do turns, it kind of drags layers along with it. And that's a recipe for disaster, my friend. Yeah, it's getting a lot of little locks here and there. Again, probably with some breaking in and setup, those would go away and it would get better. But right out of the box, not outstanding. Also, I forgot to mention this is a $4 two by two and this is a $14 six by six. So both of them on the budget end, just like all the other Maylongs. I probably would not recommend this six by six as a speed cube right out of the box. It just feels kind of cheap. Nothing too crazy special happening. And the two by two is fine. There's a lot of $4 two by twos. And honestly, they're all pretty good. And this one is included in the pretty good range. Yeah, this could definitely get some good times. All right, that's it for today's unboxing. Pretty quick one. If you're interested in picking up any of these products, be sure to do it from speedcubeshop.com. Don't forget to use the discount code BLUE at checkout. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for doing that. Thanks for watching the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!